Hi friends, it's Sheila Keeter, Teacher for Inclusion. And today I'd like to go over some classroom activities um, that you can use in your classroom. Sometimes we are really busy and it's hard to come up with different activities. So I have compiled a list for teachers to use in their classroom when they just need something additional or a before assignment or an after assignment or a fun assignment. So we have um, diary entries. So having students um, write in a diary from the point of view of a character. We have write a letter to a character. So students are themselves and they can introduce themselves and write to a character and ask them questions and that sort of thing. They can act out a scene. This is a really fun one. Students love to do this. Um, they can act out different scenes and play different parts. Philosophical chairs is a great collaborative discussion assignment um, where you give a controversial topic and students will argue about the topic using evidence from the book. An interview of a character. So have students um, create interview questions and then have a mock interview with a character. A timeline is something that's perfect for you as a teacher to put in your classroom. So I would post up a timeline at the beginning of any unit and then mark all the significant events as you go through. Um, creating book trailers, students can create videos and post them on YouTube. That's always really fun. Um, watching the movie is a great way for students to really bring all of their understanding of the book together. And, um, and you're able to check for understanding, but it really helps them to have a visual and that sort of thing of what they just read. You can always do a compare contrast type of Venn diagram. Um, rewriting the ending is great, especially if it's not the best ending or they don't like the ending or they want a different ending. Um, they can rewrite the ending. Sending questions to the author is a really fun one. So what questions do you have for the author? And if the author is still with us, they can always, you can send them two questions to the author through Twitter or some other form of social media. They can create an Instagram page or whatever social media is popular within your group at the time. They can write a next chapter, which is kind of similar to writing that end chapter. They can chalk the setting. This is kind of a fun one for them to do, like in the middle of the quad or at the front of the school. They can draw using chalk the setting from the book, um, and that would stay for a few days. Compare and contrasting characters. Pretend that you're introducing the character to the class. So even if it's like, oh, here's a new, here's this character who's just joined our class. Let me introduce you to the character. I'm having PA announcements about the book, like an advertisement for the book in the morning is always fun. Designing a new cover, coming up with a four corner discussion topic and having a four corner discussion about a book. Educational bingo, so you can create bingo boards with questions from prior lessons. This one takes an extra amount of work and it might be something that you can have students put together for extra credit. Um, a blind artist assignment where students sit back to back and one student describes an image that they're looking at and the other student tries to draw it and then they switch places and see how well that they can do. Um, there's a lot of different activities here. I'm not going to go over all of them. A Socratic seminar is also great using Costa's question cues. So those are just some ideas. If you are having difficulty finding um, activities or you just needed a refresh, there are some refresh ideas for you to use in your classroom. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much. Goodbye.